Seven of the greatest things you can make with leftover meatloaf. When last we met, we made a ridiculously delicious cheese-covered grilled meatloaf. Look at it. I mean, it's tremendous. And it was amazing then. But as I said, I think meatloaf gets better the day or two days later. And that's what we're doing. We're using that meatloaf to make some spectacularly delicious things. Let's look at the meatloaf. And voila. I'll be the first to admit that it does not look all that pretty. It's cold, it looks dry. We're gonna turn this into great stuff. All right, we're gonna start by cutting ourselves a couple slices and then taking them over to our hash, which is potatoes, red onion, red pepper, green pepper, some seasonings, and then just crumble the meatloaf right into it. And don't forget, there's a little cheese on top of the meatloaf and inside that's gonna impact the flavor of this whole hash in a really beautiful way. And because the meatloaf is already cooked, at this point it's about warming. So we'll start to mix it in. Add a little shot of olive oil. A little more salt and pepper, some parsley, we mix. And then when it's right where you want it, we add one more thing, a perfectly cooked egg. How about a taco with an almost crispy flour tortilla, little spicy sauce, some crispy cool lettuce, the meatloaf crumbled and heated up, and then some cheese on top. Or try adding some meatloaf to a marinara for a quick and delicious meat sauce on top of a pasta. And even the most basic of macaroni and cheese can become legend with the addition of the fantastic meatloaf and a sprinkling of red pepper flakes. Let's not forget a French bread pizza. Crispy bread, beautiful sauce, of course the meatloaf, some cheese, then whisked into the oven, and look. And what would leftover meatloaf day be without a classic meatloaf grilled cheese? So we'll make one, but first let me tell you about the sauce I'm gonna use. When we cooked the meatloaf the other day and I took it off the foil to put it in the fridge, there was a lot of leftover melty cheese and drippings from the meatloaf. So I saved them and I put them in here. This is just amazing meatloaf cheesy goodness. So we're gonna use this with some mayo for our sauce. So first, a little mayo, and then some of this nonsense. I'm telling you, this is going to make one delicious sandwich. And now some cheese. I'm gonna put a slice of Monterey Jack and a slice of mixed Jack and cheddar on each side, like this. Then our meatloaf will go like this. And then repeat the cheeses, lid on, oh boy. Soft butter, and that's done, over to the flat top. Nothing to do now, but wait until that gets nice and toasty brown. And we attempt to flip. That's it. That's one fine looking sandwich. And it's ready. And a cut. And of course, the only way to end would be with a dessert. And before you start thinking crazy, like, oh my God, Sam, you're gonna make like a meatloaf chocolate cake? No, that would be disgusting. But I am thinking of a glazed meatloaf donut. A glazed donut cut in half, sauteing in a little butter, the meatloaf slices glazing beautifully on the flat top, and they go together to make delicious nonsense. And where would we be without a bite of each? First the hash. Mm. A hash is an amazing thing. Meatloaf hash, even better. The macaroni. What's not to love? Taco with a little spicy sauce. Mm. French bread pizza. Hear the crunch? That's why I use French bread. The meat sauce on the pasta.
An amazing meatloaf grilled cheese. Oh, man. For dessert, the ridiculous glazed meatloaf donut that seems silly, but when you take a bite, savory, sweet, all the bases covered. All righty then, there you have it. Things you can do with leftover meatloaf that you should make, all of them including the glazed donut. So like, subscribe, comment, and if you do, you might be one of our daily winners to get some Sam merchandise. Today's is Ernie who wrote commenting about the meatloaf episode, my mouth watered the whole damn video. And don't listen to them about how long your video should be because we